Okay, I decided to go live once more, pick up where I left off. Sorry about that. I did lose the ability to see what, what was going on on the screen. I, uh, if I touch the inner edge of my phone screen while I'm live streaming, then that tends to cause problems. So anyway, back live once more. They're just uh, s finishing setting down the booster in the stand here. No enemies, good stuff. Jimmy, good stuff. This is the final piece of, the, of that move. Uh, I think I lost my capability toward the end of that last video, so. Tell me, did you guys get a black screen or no? Was it was it good, but uh, we just couldn't communicate? And then the reception went out. So uh, again, next week, the Starlink gets here next week. So that should be a solved issue as far as the reception kicking out like it did. Good stuff. Five by five. Good stuff now. Good stuff. Good stuff. There was a... I checked my email briefly before coming back on. I checked a few things, etc. And uh, somebody did, um, there is one channel now which is officially rebroadcasting the information here. It streams at Ocean Cam. So that's, um, there is um, maybe a growing list of rebroadcasters. And if uh, the, you had the screen, then lost the sound buffering. Okay, that's cool. Good stuff. Uh, so you were able to see it get placed down on, on the, um, most of the way toward the um, stand over there then, huh? I'll, I'll check that, but it sounds like it was good, even though I wasn't able to see certain things in the chat. That's good news. Hey, Tom. So I officially got a, a confirmed um, payment for a license for, so there's one person who is, um, whose channel is now gonna be officially a licensed uh, ocean cam rebroadcaster or whatever they want to do with the information it's theirs to do all the uh, different streams etc for the last uh, 17 months and the, the next six months going forward so welcome and uh, there's uh, if you'd like to learn more about licensing check out the licensing tab which often appears here in the ocean cam chat or go to the oceancam.space website uh, where you can learn more about licensing good stuff that's good news yeah take the booster back to the build site to install the center engines and roll back possibly tom not sure if we're gonna see it go that direction or not Okay, so you got it going on the stand from the last stream. Good stuff, good stuff, Tony. A little bit, uh, that's about the point where the reception kicked out. So I believe this Wednesday, uh, FedEx has the, this coming Wednesday, FedEx has the Starlink arriving. So um, I think we're just gonna keep getting better and better here. So good news, good news. I'm happy that that footage uh, kept going. Good stuff. Because I could see what was on my screen, but I uh, just couldn't see any feedback from y'all. Good stuff. All right. There are some people, people on that stand. Yeah, it would be nice. Uh, hey, Sir, Sir Chris, no enemies. It says, hopefully they'll install the rest of the engines and uh, finish up with the engine shroud, says no enemies. Okay, well, that's going to be some good stuff we can see over there, possibly at the build site as the Raptors move in and out of the Mega Bay. 
we'll see where they put this right we'll see where they put this uh, booster 7 um, if they are going to add to it then we'll see raptors added to it in the mega bay if not maybe they'll we'll see raptors taken off and then um and then maybe they'll move it out toward the the show the show area where they have the sn 1516 and uh, booster four i'm not sure which booster that is over there yeah maybe the over launch is sooner huh uh oh several months ago i thought that the um, August 10th through the 12th would be possible orbital launch and that was before that uh, explosion unexpected event happened but um, maybe this is what I was feeling because I was using my uh, intuition to kind of feel into the the coming time a time that was gonna be arriving in the next several months and and we did we had a static fire yesterday of the booster 7 so I think that was a hit um, not not a launch, but uh, I didn't make it that far. But I did get some type of event happening with uh, firing. Okay, the the comment Tom made was posted on the NSF chat about taking it back to the booster, to the build site, and um, installing the engines and rolling back out for testing. Okay, thanks, Tom. Good good info on the NSF uh, Instagram. So thanks uh, NSF uh, as well. NASASpaceflight.com, um, good stuff, good stuff. Jimmy says, I think a flight test at the end of the month right after Artemis, okay. What is the Artemis, is that the, is that the, flight to the moon or what what is or maybe that's another, another commercial launch of the um of the paying um non um non uh, everyday normal astronaut uh people is that the which artemis are, are we up to and is that the is that the uh, commercial um astronaut thing okay i'm hearing some thunder in the background so we have the first moon flight. Okay, that's coming up then, huh? The first moon flight. Wow. We just had some thunder in the background. There's uh, some big clouds behind this area here. We're supposed to po possibly get some rain this afternoon, and it sounds like we might be about to get some. So we had a successful, um, so far, um, move of the booster onto the stand over there. And uh, it looks like they have, uh, it looks like it's, it is settled on the stand. I'll get a shot of the base of the booster as it is sitting on the stand there. We can see a bunch of the Raptors inside the lower part of the stand. So it is seated. And we're getting some increased wind. Um, I don't hear any ratcheting sounds, but they're probably uh, going to be ratcheting everything down and tying it down. And then they will move it. Uh, maybe they'll leave it there attached to the crane for stability as the wind increases, etc. Or maybe they will uh, move it somewhere else here on the site. Tom says maybe a Christmas uh, Christmas time orbital launch. Uh, Mele Kali Kimaka says Tom. Mele Kali Kimaka. I don't know what that means. Good stuff. Sounds a little Hawaiian. You don't need landing legs to land on Mars, says Notorious. Good stuff. No, there is uh, someone with a YouTube channel called Notorious. Uh, when I see your name, it kind of reminds me of that. Uh, are you related to the Notorious YouTube channel in the cryptosphere?
Okay, so I know they're one of the missions to the moon, it may be Artemis 1 or whatever, uh, is uh, with the Intuitive Machines. Intuitive Machines has a, um, a lunar drill that's going to drill into the, powered off of solar panels, to drill in to see if they can uh, find some ice on the moon. Okay, Notorious says they are not related to the other Notorious. Good stuff. Okay, thank you. Nice to see you here, though. And there were a lot of uh, thumbs up on the previous channel. That was over a six-hour live stream. And um, it's good. I, we had like 150-something thumbs up. Appreciate all the viewers. Yeah, good stuff. A lot of friendly people. Jill says, depends on how quickly that storm moves in. Okay. Yeah, okay, what they do here with the booster depends on, on the storm. It depends on the storm. Okay, that's a good, uh, good statement. I'll get the whole tower once more. Sir Chris says we could um, look at the weather here in Boca Chica and it looks like we could get rain later, says Sir Chris Kringle. Yeah, yeah I haven't heard any um, thunder like that in a long time. It says in two to three hours. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you. Yeah, no enemy says maybe they'll keep it connected through the weekend to the crane and move it on Monday. Uh, they have time to move it any time today. I think last week they moved it in on a Saturday morning, Friday night, Saturday morning, is when I think they moved it in um, this booster. There was no road closure, but they did move it late in the evening or early in that morning on Saturday. Tom says, looks as though the hydraulic system was replaced on the chopsticks, being that they are down now. Huh. Well, um, yeah, throughout throughout the morning here, the chopsticks have been where they are. I, I once thought they were higher up, but um, I know, I think it was yesterday, we saw the chopsticks all the way up to the top of the booster. I don't know what that all means. But. Uh, okay, there's a storm out at sea, Sister Chris. Okay. Thanks. All right, I'll get on the I'll get on the I'll get in the view here. Let me Yeah, I will just flip the uh, screen here. Thanks for tuning in, uh, Palma Mox with Ocean Camera Space Corp. And um, we did it. We got uh, we got the footage. Uh, had a great time chatting. Also, that is the ocean back there. Uh, so um, good stuff. Um, holding the umbrella for the iPhone. Signing out, I may, I, you know, every night I come back, I go to town once a day, so I will be back later today, and if there's anything to film, I will, um, and then tomorrow morning, etc. cetera, uh, most likely as well. Tony, yes, double O call, I love it. Nice to see you, Tony, good job sticking around and helping out, Sir Chris, Tony, um, no enemies, uh, Jill, good stuff. Um, Stephanie, I don't see you here, but uh, Jimmy, nice to chat with you. Who else? Uh, Bren, nice to see you again. Good stuff. Thanks for the support today, Bren. Good stuff. Tom, back at you. 
and everybody uh, who I haven't seen here in the chat but is watching and uh, will watch whenever you're watching this uh, thanks for tuning in this is Ocean Camera Space Corp uh, where the goal is to eventually video the oceans on the different moons and planets in the solar system because uh, there's over 200 moons and most of the most of the moons in our solar system have confirmed water so uh, Dr. Caitlin Aaron's last year in an interview confirmed that most of the moons in our solar system uh, have water if not oceans underneath the icy surfaces and so the goal at ocean cam is to take that surface and subsurface level video imagery of the different oceans uh, and change the story of humanity because uh, as of yet we haven't had any of that footage video footage from the surface or underneath the uh, inside the oceans and uh, after that getting that video footage is to to extract some of the water harvest the water so that we can use it to make rocket fuel we can use it to grow plants on these different planets etc and also to drink uh, so subscribe for a drink means uh, we got to get some water out there in space so that we can make uh, things to drink uh, whether it be ice cold water or uh, maybe we want to make some lemonade or something else uh, so if you want to have some drinks out there in space when you're an astronaut uh, subscribe for drinks so so somebody can get that video footage and extract that water and make it uh, public so we can uh, live out there in space and thrive and as uh, many of us dreamed of doing while watching many TV series and movies throughout our life. Kool-Aid in space says no enemies. Signing out, Knight SLDR says, I love the quality of this live stream. Thanks, Knight. Good to see you. In five, have a good weekend, everybody. If you're watching this on a Friday night, uh, Friday afternoon, or maybe it's Saturday or ready for you, or you're watching from what we consider the future, good days to you. Uh, be well, uh, whatever time you're watching this, whatever dimension you're watching it from. Uh, we will meet again in this dimension or another one. Dave and Teresa, good stuff. Signing out August of 2022, August 12th.